Good evening, and welcome to the fastest few minutes in sports, where we're going to go over everything that's going on in the Indianapolis GAA. Before I get into last week's recap, I want to talk about a few th big things that are coming up for the club in the next couple of weeks. First of all, May 9th is Premier Night. It's the greatest night on Friday nights underneath the lights at Kunt Stadium. We'll have Gaelic football, camogie, and a, and a terrific match of hurling. Then on May 17th, there's a trip up to Chicago for the Chicago tournament. Make sure you make that trip. It's great to see what other clubs are doing. And finally, today was the last day for registration for nationals in Boston. The Indianapolis team went ahead and registered five squads going out to Boston this year. A camogie at intermediate, junior A hurling, junior C hurling, junior C football, and junior D football. We'll be sending out over 100 athletes this year to Boston. What a great achievement for the club. So, on to the recap for this past week. This past week, we had a couple of big upsets that came up, and I want to get to those right away first. First of all, Clada beating up Good Earth by 3-13 to 3-8. It was a great inspired uh, game by the Clada team. Uh, Duncan had 11 points himself, and Joe Witkowski did a terrific job in the defense, and Laura Norfleet even blocked a late goal that would have go, went ahead and tie up that game. On the Good Earth side, Andretta Erickson did what she could for the Good Earth, but they just did not have enough firepower. Clada finally gets a win. In the other early game, we had Hellsource versus Connors, and Connors went ahead and won that one. Again, another tightly contested match where Hellsource was actually up with about 60 seconds to go in the game, but a late goal by Dave Reardon put him over the top. Reed Smith scored two goals for the health source, and Jackie McGuire, just back from Ireland, actually had a goal and a point. Upland versus Pogues saw Pogues take one out in a squeaker, 4-11 to 4-7. Lots of goals scored in that game. Andy Hazel for Uplands finally finding his offensive firepower. He scored three goals. Tim Boyle was a one-man wrecking ball for the Pogues team. He had four goals and four points all to himself. And then finally, the big matchup for the weekend was two gingers versus undefeated, previously undefeated runners. Well, it didn't end up that way. Two gingers won 5-8 to 1-4, really putting the boot to the throat of the runner's wreckers. I don't know what really happened in that game, but two gingers really put it on them, and they now have the league lead. Reed Kerchival moving up from the back position to the midfield, really did a great job for that team. And for runners, Danny Jorgensen is still working hard up front. So right now, if you want to look at, take a look at the standings, two gingers is up there at the top all by themselves. They do not have a loss yet. They're followed up by Pogues, Renners, and Connors, all with two wins and one loss. And way at the bottom of the league, we have Upland and Health Source bringing up the rear. After this, let's go ahead and bring on the Swami. Let's go over last week's. Last week's? Not particular again, not particularly good for the Swami. Swami was two and two, and overall that goes ahead and leaves him at five, five and two. He's batting 500, but still not at all what the Swami had predicted uh, to happen for this year. He had hoped to be a little bit better. So let's make this week's predictions. First up, Clada versus Upland. I'm going to go ahead and take Clada in this one. They're riding the euphoria of last week's win, and Upland's been struggling. Clada to win. Then we've got Pogues versus Two Gingers. I don't know how anybody's going to stop Two Gingers if they're all running on the cylinders that they are. Two Gingers. Hellsource versus Good Earth. I'm going to go ahead and go out on a limb here and take Hellsource. I have a lot of faith in Good Earth, but I think Hellsource is really starting to put it together. I think it's their chance. And finally, Connors versus Renners. 
Connors is going to go ahead and blow them right out of the water. Connors has done a great job. They're a very well-balanced team. I'm going to go ahead and pick Connors. The final match for Sunday will be a Kraken Kamogi match where we'll see Toby's Turtles versus the Black Death team. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to take the green team, Toby's Turtles, coming to go ahead and reclaim victory after last week's last second loss. Next week, by the way, we'll be coming from location at the Good Earth. So watch from us there and we'll see you on the pitch.